Tonight, police on Mayaguana are on the hunt for a man believed to be one of two suspects involved in a substantial drug bust on that island early this morning. The other suspect in custody and the suspected drugs in the possession of authorities. Corval Pyfram has the story. The drugs, believed to be cocaine, 11 neatly and tightly packed large sacks offloaded from a U.S. Coast Guard aircraft Tuesday afternoon, then loaded onto a truck. Under heavy armed police guard driven to a nearby hangar, then offloaded again for public viewing. The drug seized by officers on Meguana, part of a joint operation with Bahamian and U.S. law enforcement agencies. The estimated value and street weight, street value and weight of this suspected cocaine is not known at this time. Also not known at this time, the whereabouts of one of the two suspects involved in this incident. And I can report to you, uh, because of the intelligence-led policing, we were able to take into custody a... Brazilian national believed to be in his late 30s. According to police, it was shortly after one Tuesday morning, officers from the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, along with Bahamian officers from both DEU and Meguana, were alerted to activity at that island's airport. When they got there, they discovered a single-engine Cessna aircraft had landed. As they began to approach the plane, the two men on board exited and fled on foot into nearby bushes. Officers subsequently searched the aircraft where they found the drugs. A while later, one of the suspects was nabbed. An all-out manhunt now underway for the second suspect. And we will, we will certainly leave no stone unturned to bring quick resolution to this investigation. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Corval Pyfram. Now, our news team can confirm that the drugs transported from Mayaguana to New Providence this afternoon weighed in at 850 pounds with a street value of $7,580,000. Hi there, I'm Corval Pyfram. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things ZNS.